The renovation brings together a new collection of artworks, some previously unseen. It has entailed the renovation of the rooms themselves, but also the restoration of some of the pictures, framing and lighting. Research on the works and the artists behind them has also been carried out. Well, we're really excited really to be opening after being closed for a few months. And basically we took the opportunity of a lockdown to sort of renovate the gallery. And really the starting point was we had a lot of newly acquired artworks that we wanted to exhibit. There are artists on the rock who have become household names and the exhibition gives you a chance to see a variety of their works in one room. The beauty is not just in the art, but in the cultural story they tell. Well, this is our national gallery and it houses Gibraltar's heritage artists, let's say. Those that really made an impact, uh, you know, going back over a hundred years. And it was a, a place, in fact, that had been campaigned for by Mario Filinson himself. And that's why in 2015, um, the government really created this venue and naming it in Mario's honour. So obviously that's why we find his works as well here, rightly so. And for those for whom a picture does not paint a thousand words, a linguistic aid to get to know the artist in a quote room which is now open. Well, in fact, it did exist already. We've just expanded it further. We're, apart from the artists uh, that uh, are already on show, Gustavo Bacarizas, Lenny Mesud, Rudecin Domania, Jacoba Shaguri, Mario Filinson, we've also added some works of Elio Cruz. So there's a room that represents all the artists and there's a specific quote attributed to them. We've actually opened up this space, so this room used to be closed off. You're now able to walk around freely into the quote room. So the idea is for the experience, you know, to be much more organic in this way. This is only part one, isn't it? That's right. Phase one is complete. We started off with Gustavo Vacarizas and we're proud to say we've got eight or nine uh, new works which have been bought over the last couple of years, either at auction or from private collections. And really, we want to be able to show them off. We want to be able to, um, we, we want the community to be able to enjoy these. And there's such a larger variety of artworks, really showing different periods of his work, different styles and different medium. So we're very proud and, uh, you know, we're confident uh, that people will make the most of um, this uh, new exhibition, new curation, because uh, apart from the artwork on show, the gallery ex itself, you know, housed in the City Hall, a building with so much history in itself. And I always like to think, you know, that little quiet haven in the centre of town. So if you're going for a walk, going for a coffee, why not come along and pay us a visit? And there'll be something for all ages, with interactive games for the younger visitors.